Hey everyone. Okay, so today we're going to do a, a bronzed skin look. And I might finish it off with a simple bronze eye. Really simple. So let's make a start. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a kind of skin serum that I've been working on. I think I showed it in a previous video, but it just revives the skin and it makes all foundations go on so smooth. Um, I just love it. I can't imagine starting a face now without it because it just preps the skin. If your skin is dry or irritated, it just allows the foundation to glide on so much, um, so much more beautifully and simply. I love it. I can't wait to share it with you. It's a while away, but I really can't wait. So let's deal with the base. So I'm going to try this product here. It's called By Swede. It is in light and I don't know whether I really like it or really, really dislike it. It's a mineral foundation that has the most outrageous shine to it. Like you've never seen it. It's, it's a lot of shine. So I'm going to pick up some product on my brush and just tap off the excess and I'm just going to start, I just like to dot it first. I don't know if you can see that reflection that's going on. It is a really, really reflective product and therefore I just don't know if I really like it or just think that it's just a little too much. It doesn't offer a lot of coverage but it certainly leaves behind quite the, the glow to it. Like you honestly, I've never seen a product with, you know, in this category that has that same level of, of shine to it. It's quite extreme. And therefore, I just don't know whether I like it. I've got a little spot here. It doesn't do the greatest job at hiding things but that's okay. So you can kind of um, see there's a lot of shine with it, a lot of shine. We'll tone it down, but let me know if you use this product. I'd love to know if you really like it or if you're like me, you just don't quite know what to make of it because it's quite, quite the product. Just get in the nose. You know, I was thinking about YouTube today and I wish I was one of those gurus, those makeup artists, those channels where, you know, I was, it was, I was just, you know, very charismatic and entertaining and everybody couldn't wait to tune in. And, you know, I think even at my height, my heyday, I don't think I was probably ever like that, if I'm completely honest with you. So the next thing I'm going to go in is with the bronzer. This is where we're going to start to warm things up. This is by Merit um, and it's in the shade Leo. So I'm going to start here with the usual stripes and I'm going to go across the bridge of the nose as well. Now we're going to build this up slightly. The thing with cream products is that they, they have a lot of movement to them. They blend a lot. So we need to be a little bit more careful with when we're using creams, but Merit's quite sheer. I've always loved the brand and um, I didn't have the greatest experience with customer service recently. And I placed this really, really large order and it still hadn't shipped and I picked express shipping. And today I looked at the order and it had been canceled the day I, the day I ordered it. And it's, you know, it was like a week ago nearly, you know, no correspondence to say it's been canceled. You know, I clearly the company hates me for whatever reason. So I'm going to apply the bronzer down the sides of my neck and then I'm going to just blend it. Now I'm not going to blend behind because it's going to get washed off in a minute in the shower, but generally you want to warm up the face and neck or any and all parts of the body that will be exposed. So I would need to come down as well. So 
bronzing up the skin isn't this, you can't just bronze the face because it doesn't work that way. I'm going to add just a touch more just to really kind of get that bronze effect going. And I'm really buffing it into the skin to make sure that it's worked in as best as possible. A lot of people love that kind of really bronzed face. And I understand why it does make you feel healthier and all those kind of things. So I do, I do understand it. So we're going to blend that in. So we're just trying to create more so you can see that there's quite a difference here. But we don't care. I'm going to wash it off. No one cares. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a blusher. So I'm going to add this one in Apricot. I don't know what company this is from. It comes in this horrible little um, cardboard case, but I think you can buy a case for like a thousand pounds. So I'm going to start to hit the blusher really high up on the cheekbone. So I can actually feel the bone here as I'm pressing it. I'm going to go down the sides of the nose as well. And I'm going to go a little bit higher than normal. And I'm going to blend this with my fingers to begin with. And then I'm going to blend it in with a brush to get an even finish after. Now you can go straight in with the, br with the brush if you want. But I want to hit the high points first of all. Because I just think that, you know, this is kind of where the color would be. And then I'm going to get my brush, same brush I used to blend in the bronzer. And I'm just going to move over these areas. Because I kind of think without blusher, bronzer doesn't work. That bronze skin doesn't work. Because you have to have some burn. There's always some burn going on when you're doing any bronze skin. So I'm now going to put some bronzer onto the outside corners of the eye. And with that same brush, I'm just going to buff it in. And this is just to add a bit of continuity and maybe even a light smattering of contouring, if you want to call it that. Just on this outside corner, it just ties it in a little bit. Now, if you want to use a little bit more blusher, you absolutely can. I like a lot of it. Some people don't. But for me, it's probably one of the most important cosmetics you can have in your arsenal is blusher because it just does such a lot. So there's still a lot of shine going on in the skin, but we're going to add a touch more. So we'll do Merit again, even though they hate me. And I'm going to apply just a touch to the cheekbone, but it looks like a lot, but it blends out quite sheerly. And there's no real sparkle in this either. It's just a lot of shine. And I'll blend that in. I don't like to use a lot of highlighter, not that I wear makeup in real life, because the way my structure here, it, it really doesn't bode well to add too much shine. And I'm going to add a little bit just above the kind of arch of the eyebrows as well. Lovely. So what I need now to do is to start to take down some of this shine. I also think I need a little bit more bronzer just on the neck. Just a little bit more, I think. So I need to take down some of the shine because it's very distracting the whole face. It's funny, I'm... I'll be 46 in a couple of weeks and I'm very happy being 46, don't get me wrong. I'm going to take some loose powder and I'm just going to mattify the T-zone. But what I miss about being younger is that I felt like I had less worry. I feel like all I have now is worry and stress. I miss being younger because I didn't feel like I had the same levels of stress that I've got now. I've got a permanent stomach ache. 
from IBS and a lot of stress. I get a lot of, I have a lot of stress throughout my day and it's not fun. And I miss, I miss just not being stressed. I forget what it's like sometimes. So I've just mattified just the center and it takes down the shine and leaves it where I want it. So if I've taken down too much, I can add it back in. But to me, that now looks like a more realistic um, bronze skin. So what I'm gonna do now is add a smattering of freckles with freck. And I got this from Beauty Bay. Um, so I'm gonna just take this and I'm just gonna dot it randomly just I mean, look at that. There's no skill here whatsoever. I mean, look, look what I've done. It's fine, we can correct it. Then I'm gonna rapidly pat it across the nose. And I can, any big dollops you've just done, don't worry, you can correct them with a little bit of foundation. But it just adds a bit more realness back to the skin when you're dealing with freckles and things like that. And I like a, a smattering of it just over the nose. Now I'm gonna add it back in the beauty mark, which is right here. And I'll let that set. So generally speaking, we'll run something through the brow. The look is almost complete, but what I'm gonna do is I'll do a bronzed eye just to show you a really simple, quick way of doing it. Because I think when the skin is very bronzed, you're better off not doing too much to the skin at all, the eye I mean, because it can start to look really heavy when you know, you're really bronzed and suddenly you're doing a lot to the eye. It just looks to me a little fake. I'm not a big fan of it, but each to their own. So let's do an eye. So what I'm gonna do here is take a couple shades of bronzer, one that's a bit lighter, one that's a bit darker, and also add a blusher. And we're gonna contour the eye from lash line to brow bone. So let's make a start. I'm gonna use this compact palette here by NARS. And I'm gonna use both shades, and I'm gonna use this little brush here, this little round brush that I was working on last year. And we may, may release it. I'm gonna take the blusher side, and with a tissue, a trusted tissue. I'm gonna just place that on the outside corner of the eye so that it just covers the lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna very lightly sweep this over the entire eye, gently, carefully, and right the way out. Nothing, nothing too dramatic. It's not like it's suddenly, you know, a lot there. I'm gonna take the bronzer side I'm going to do the exact same thing, just going over this. Let me unfold this tissue, it's too much. Let me half that. We want to get the angle right. And then I'm just going to run it over this entire eye again, but just with the bronzer shade this time. Over the eyelid, into the inner corner, and back out. And then I'm knocking it off on the back. So this is pass one. There's a tiny touch of bronzer, um, a blusher and bronzer going on here, but it's not too much. I'm gonna take the second shade now. Oh, nearly dropped it. I'm gonna take the second shade and it's just a deeper version of it. And I'm gonna go straight in with the bronzer. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as I just did. But this time I'm gonna stay in this section, this outside corner and the eyeball, just here. Then I'm gonna dip this into that brighter blusher, make sure the angle's right, and just gonna take that over here. And then remove it. And what you've got is an instant bronzed eye. Now, generally speaking, I'm gonna to have to do it with a bit of concealer there's this irritating little patch here and it's just a little bit discolored and I have to take care of that because otherwise it can drag the eye down. So to finish this look off, 
What I'm going to do is just take a little touch of loose powder, and this is just by Huda. And I'm just going to dip a nice fluffy brush in. This is my E1 brush. And all I'm going to do is knock it off on the back of my hand. I'm just going to very lightly just buff over this. Just takes down a little bit of the shine. I'm going to apply a coat of mascara. I'm not going to curl my lashes and I'm certainly not going to build up any volume. It's just to add the depth of field that's needed as a contrast. I've been upping my um, prescription strength retinoid and I've been getting these little breakouts everywhere as I'm going up in strength, which is irritating at 45. So all I'm doing here is adding darkness. That's about it. I think I've got some up here. Of course I have. Why wouldn't I, honest to God? But even just darkening the lash, it just adds something to it. So all I'm gonna do now is I think I'm just gonna take that small brush that I just mentioned, and I'm just gonna add a little bit more powder just to the T-zone, just to matte it out. And that will complete the bronze skin look. And I don't know what it's, it's quite difficult to get a reading here. I've got a monitor in front of me, but it's a bit shit. Um, and then I've got a, a mirror here, which doesn't really reflect the true lighting conditions of what I'll see when I edit this. So I don't quite know what it's gonna look like, but it looks bronze to me. It looks healthy and, and glowing. And that eye here to me, doesn't look that strong at all. It's quite a warm color here. We'll see how it translates on video. But it's just a nice, simple way of doing makeup. You know, I like to keep things, I like it simple. I like it realistic and real and honest. Um, and that's my style with makeup. I want people to look like themselves because I think you're probably absolutely more than good enough just as you are without wanting to look like someone else. And there you go. That is the completed look. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. This is a very long video for me. There's barely any editing to do. Let me know. I will very happily can cut these videos down to three minutes if you would prefer. I'm quite open to, to whatever you would like me to do. Thank you for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.